I think I was the first eyewitness to report on the collapse of the tower. So I did the best I could, uh, but it, it was pretty clear I was in a, some sort of state of shock. And the first reports were that it was a plane. So I headed down there just to you know, try to hitch up with a crew or something. Maybe 45 minutes into the taping that we were doing, which was maybe a half hour after, there was, uh, it was an explosion. It was way up where the fire was and the whole building at that point bellied out in flames and everybody ran. The book, it took me a long time to get to it. Um, and I suppose, I've been thinking about this a lot. I, I suppose it was just a little bit too painful to revisit. Um, but after four years, I was able to do it. I Curiosity went out on view. the bike paths along the Hudson River, which is on the west side. Curiosity is a fearless companion. As I approached about Houston Street, maybe I was halfway down there, the second tower was hit. And the building collapsed. The south tower, the one we were standing at the corner of, uh, started to come down. It started up where the plane had entered. And uh, I describe in the, in the book how it seemed slow motion, these, these huge pieces, such an enormous building. And here it was collapsing. Nobody thought that was going to happen. Nobody around me, anyway. But I get caught in the parking garage with uh, an amb about a half a dozen ambulance drivers. Those are the people who were mostly there. They had brought their ambulances from all over. I mean, they were from far and wide uh, and lined up and waiting for something to do. There wasn't anything to do. People either were alive or dead. We went into 9-12 so fast after 9-11 that, okay, we've got to get things done. You know, we've got to get our security up and running and we've got to address the issues that uh, allowed this to happen. And, and we charged right ahead and there was, there was no time for reflection, no time for um, thinking about it and putting up your feet and you know, having a uh, soda pop and going back over it. I, I think that's, that's what I people do through pieces. tragedy. And I don't think that's happened. So I think there's a, a gape a wound still un unhealed. I move on in pieces. I move on at peace.